Summer rains have gone. August comes along and it's gold fills the air. Welcome, welcome back. Today we're doing a really fun tablescape video for fall. So two different tablescape ideas that I'm going to share with you guys today and how these came together was mostly with thrifted finds and one really cool DIY, which is in the second. <laughs> I don't even know if we can call it a DIY. So both of these were super fun. You'll have to let me know which one is your favorite. Let's go ahead and dive in. But real quick, I did want to mention that um, I haven't filmed since when I shared our big family update. So I wanted to say a big thank you all for all of your kind words and encouragement on that video. You guys are a big part of my life as I make these videos like every week. So I thank you guys so much and thank you guys for supporting our family as well. So let's go ahead and dive into these ideas. So diving into our first tablescape, I am using mostly thrifted materials here, but some very budget-friendly ones. So this one was one tablecloth that is kind of a linen-y texture that I found at Walmart for about $6 because it was on sale. And it has these beautiful white lines that I think will look nice with my plates as those are more of a bright white, but I want most of this tablescape to be very warm colors. I'm also going to be using this very weird piece of fabric it's almost like a long pillowcase I still really don't know what it is it has a hole on one end and not on the other but I thrifted it for a few dollars at Goodwill last year the fabric just caught my eye so it's always fun to just look down the linen aisle and see what you can find I also found these napkins at Goodwill recently I love how the pattern plays together nicely with the other patterns it just creates a really homey cozy feel so then I grabbed some of my fall decor that I wanted to put out with these hydrangeas that I thrifted from the Goodwill bins actually. I think both of these pumpkins were also thrifted and then these are just some stems that I've had for a long time and some dried flowers. So I hope that this is giving you some ideas of ways that you can use the decor that you already have and just restyle it, put things around. These are real pumpkins or gourds. I actually got them from the part in the grocery store where they have like edible ones. So we will eat these eventually. It kind of hurts me when we have to throw away some of the artisan pumpkins that I buy, which we did last year. But honestly, I think you could still eat the seeds like we did with the pumpkins that we carved. So maybe we'll try that this year, but we will definitely be eating this acorn squash and this pumpkin pie squash, I think the other one was. I wanted to mention a quote from a book that I have mentioned on here before called Rhythms of the Household. I absolutely love this book. The quote that I wanted to mention here that as it relates to the table and conversation and really hospitality. And that is that interrogations happen over clean tables, but conversions and conversations happen over messy ones. So as I reveal how this first traditional fall tablescape turned out, I just wanted to mention that quote because I always go back to it when I feel like my house isn't perfect, it isn't ready, it isn't ready to entertain or to host. It is always worth it to invite people over and that's when true conversation happens and there's beauty in that. So I hope that that can be encouraging to you to just use whatever you have to open up your home. So we're gonna move right along to our our second tablescape I am cleaning up from the boys lunch this is more like a normal tablescape that we have for day to day I like to have something on the table and I find just a table runner and then one singular bowl of fruit works well or a small arrangement of flowers it can stay tidy and I can wipe it up easily so this tablescape is going to be much more whimsical and fun Gideon my four-year-old was super excited to help with this one because we have been talking a lot about Halloween. I shied away from sharing any of our Halloween decorations last year and I kind of just felt like I shouldn't share it because of the Christian circles that I'm in here on YouTube don't share it and they kind of talk negatively about 
Halloween, some of them. And so I did my own research and I will just leave a link for a video that I think explained it very eloquently and funny. <laughs> and so that will be in the description below just because I don't have the ability to go into all of the depth that he did. And I think he explained it super well. So uh, what I just showed you was hanging up these little ghosts that we made last year out of a scrap of fabric and just some stuffing and attached some eyes onto there. And these are thrifted placemats that I got at the Goodwill bins. They can be really expensive placemats I've found. So <laughs> these were a great score. The back side is the side that I'm using actually because I felt like it kind of looks like a spider web the way that it's woven like that and then Gideon enjoyed putting some spiders on our bowl of fruit I really was just kind of seeing how things would look here I wanted to use these bright orange napkins and I have a great idea that came together really nicely with these napkins that I will show you in just a bit and then I decided we should just use some candlesticks to make it kind of like a gothic look in a way which relates well to Christianity if you go ahead and watch that video you might understand more of what I'm talking about and then we went in with a little bit of these like spider webs that you can get anywhere you know and added that to our fruit bowl and moved the spiders onto them which I think looked really nice and then we were able to tuck the cobwebs underneath those candlesticks there as well then it was time to work on these napkins so I'll also link the video that I found that showed this but what you're going to need is a paper towel tube and I actually cut it a little bit too long here I ended up cutting it a little bit shorter but you stuff one end into it and then you stuff the corners edges into it it really does not have to be perfect here you are going to flip this over and then add a stem so I tried just using a stick that we found outside and it did not look good so I actually remembered that I had a little stem collection from Dollar Tree that I got like years ago for a little DIY and so I don't know if they still have these there but they are these little birch stems and they worked perfectly and I did want to mention that these napkins were thrifted. I like to try to find all of my napkins thrifted for less than a dollar a piece. All right, guys, before I show you this very last tablescape idea, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below which one was your favorite. If you enjoyed these also, just please let me know because maybe I could do some for Christmas time, which will be here before we know it. So please do give this video a like, subscribe if you wanna see more of this type of content and I hope that you all have a very blessed week. So here's the last one. As we draw closer to a season of possibly more entertaining with the holidays, I just want us to all remember that true hospitality does not seek to impress but seeks to serve. When this servitude is our mentality with hospitality, so much joy can come from it. So have a blessed week and I'll see you in the next one.